Bridal Veil Falls. Very easy access right off the road. So this is Spearfish Canyon. It's just outside the town of Spearfish. It took us like five minutes to get here. This is quite spectacular. The falls are beautiful, the colors that you can see, the green and the yellow and the golds, beautiful. And down below us, it's this little creek. Okay, so we're gonna try this hiking trail. I think it's a mile to get to the falls. So we're maybe a quarter mile into it. Look at this, it's so pretty. This is a beautiful hike so far. A little snake. You see it? There was a little sign back there that said snakes are common in the canyon and the most common snake observed by hikers is the red-eyed garter snake. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. deep in the canyon we are. It's pretty the way the grass grows around that waterfall. The greenery around it is what makes it one of the things that make it so beautiful. Very picturesque. Apparently, there's quite a few trout in this stream. It says they have rainbow trout, brown trout, and brook trout. Imagine what this would look like, snow covered through here. I cannot imagine what this would look like. Heavy snow, wonder how, how deep the snow gets up here. I bet it's beautiful covered with snow. This has been a great little hike. They said it was two miles, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. A mile there and a mile back. I wasn't prepared to go on a hike. I have all my sandals. This is a... I can't believe how warm it was today. This morning we woke up and I'm in the, in the little camper with the heater and uh, several layers of clothes. And then by afternoon, I'm in shorts and sandals. This weather is crazy. There's a little fish. Oh yeah, I see it. Is it probably a little trout? I can't tell. I can't tell what it is. Boy, that water is so clear. Maybe it is cold too. Feel it. I can feel it. It is very cold. All right, girls, let's go. It's cold. 
So you don't think he'll go skinny dipping in there? Nope, I don't. Do you? Oh, yeah. I know, you've been known to skinny dip in that cold water. Huh, Fred? Fred, when we were on the AT, Fred went skinny dipping in an ice cold creek to clean himself off. And I think he enjoyed it. So we're at the end of this trail and Fred wants to go down this little side piece to see if he can see any fish out here. A little fish right there. Fish. Oh yeah. You catching anything? Not yet. <laughs> Just a sunburn. Yeah. dusty right here. Cars go up and down this road flying. You can see they leave a trail of dust behind them. Now we go back to our car. That's a great little hike. Do you enjoy that, sweetheart? Yes, I enjoyed it. It's Tuesday, uh, about eight o'clock in the morning, and we have ventured about two to three miles down this dirt road. This is where uh, Dances with uh, Wolves was filmed. It is beautiful back in here. So this is, this whole area, I believe, is the film scene for Dances with Wolves. I can certainly see how this could be in a movie. You, you're just enveloped or surrounded by this canyon. And this stream is the Rough Lock Falls. So just a little FYI to anybody coming out this way, you can actually drive up this road and get to the falls. You didn't need to hike that mile and a half that we did yesterday. We're in Spearfish Canyon and this is the parking lot for the Devil's Bathtub Hiking Trail. And it says that there is poison ivy along this trail. Being from Florida, I uh, don't really have a lot of experience with poison ivy, but it says anything with a cluster of three leaves. Could, I guess could be poison ivy or poison oak. We're gonna go try to find this trail. Look how clear this water is. Well, we think we found the trail. But I read that there are several stream crossings on this trail and there's no way we're gonna be crossing that stream. We think we're gonna head back when we're done with this um, this last trail so we're a little homesick this is our third week of camping um, we were gonna leave about four o'clock in the morning but i believe after this we're both ready to start our trek home it's gonna take us three days to get there but we're gonna enjoy one last little piece of spearfish here before we go so this is a pretty primitive trail. A little muddy. It's going to be a beautiful day. I was reading that this Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway follows the route of an old um, rail. So it said that the rail flooded 
and was no longer in use and so they made the they probably elevated it and built Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway. But it definitely follows this creek. This creek, I'm going to do a little bit of research on this creek. But the, it's pretty powerful and big, and I believe this is the same creek that goes right to our campsite. So leaves, clusters of three. I believe that could be poison ivy. If someone knows, please comment. To access the Devil's Bathtub, be respectful. This trail traverses a fragile ecological environment. Stay on it and tread lightly. The creek is spawning waters for native trout. Well, we really don't want to get our feet wet. Do you think you can make it across those rocks? No. Huh? No, but I don't want to. <laughs> we have deliberated, and unfortunately, we decided not to take the dogs across this creek bed and risk slipping and getting the dogs all wet. So we're going to call that a wrap. Well, I can say that I did attempt to go across half of this carrying the dog and my feet started to slip and I really didn't want to get wet, so we're just not going to do it. I'm disappointed, but my common sense and Fred's common sense mainly has kicked in and we're just not going to do it. Get some water, Lucy. Get some water. Lucy, get some water. Get some water, baby. <laughs> A little bit. Come on, Lucy. I love these little things. <laughs> Look, here's more. Leaves of three. Is that poison ivy? Leaves of three. One last shot up through Spearfish Creek. Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway, right? Yes. Which we are still in the Black Hills, but the very northern portion of the Black Hills. Right at the edge, the cusp because the city of Spearfish is just outside of the Black Hills. So several spots along the creek um, had notations about, you know, hatching the fish. I assume that it's the trout. And um, right downtown Spearfish is this fish hatchery. So we're gonna go check this out. Trout habitat. Oh wow, you can see all the trout down in there. Look at them. That looks like a speckled rainbow trout. Oh, they're so pretty. What kind of trout do you think that? That's a, I think it's a rainbow trout too. Or, Oh, you're kidding. Oh, boy. Are you ready? Yeah. If you buy any more, here's a bag you could use. 
Thanks. You ready? Uh huh. Look at these. Mallards, males. Ringneck mallards. What's in what this food? Throw it out there. Are you ready? Yeah. So there's the rainbow trout, the brown trout, the snake river cutthroat trout, and the brook trout. We've got uh, brown, snake river cutthroat, and rainbow in there. We think the biggest one's 10 or 11 pounds maybe in this aquarium, in this pond one. Yeah. They kind of just live out their lives there, you know, they, don't, they just get fed. We, we sell fish food here, and, uh, oh, you already got some, and then we got the pond shop. Don't forget to check that out. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Look at those trout. That's pretty cool. Aren't they pretty fish? I bet they're pretty good. That must be a rainbow. So this is the rainbow trout. You can see the pink in it. That looks like a brown trout or a brook trout. They have all the different kinds of trout in this pond. Keeping the Blackwoods waterway stock with plenty of trout is the job of fish hatcheries. There's a rainbow trout. Our last stop, site number six, is at Spearfish City Campground. Um, we are actually packing up and getting ready to go. We were only here for one night. Um, we really just wanted this site for electricity and to have a shower. But this is a beautiful sight. Kind of. It's pretty crowded in here. But if you want all the amenities in this area, this is pretty much what you're going to get. Um, sites are very close together. But it's got full, you know, sewer, electric, water hookups. Uh, the nice thing about this site is we are immediately adjacent to this spearfish creek which is very pretty and then up here we have the little bridge and the city walk which is very nice the dogs really enjoyed that we took them on that twice but uh we, we told the uh, campground that we were checking out a little early they offered a full refund for the two nights that we're not using and uh, so that, that was really nice. These people were very accommodating here. Um, the bathrooms were clean, showers were great. Uh, we really enjoyed it here, but we're ready to go home. Just doing the final check before we hitch it up to head back to Florida.